Hi, good afternoon. Thank you so much for tuning in once again to Mama Sanity. Um, I'm coming to you today. I just got back from my um, second son's fifth grade. They call it promotion, but it's graduation. And so that's um, my second child that has gone through the process. So here comes junior high um, for him. And of course, my oldest is going to high school. So since Today is officially the last day of school for us here in Northside. Um, I wanted to come to you today because I'm going to read a little thing about patience. And the reason why I'm reading it to you today is because I'm actually trying to um, pray and preach to myself because all four are going to be home all summer and um, Mama really is going to need some patience. Okay, I love my children more than life itself, but she y'all parents know how it is when your kids are at home for the summer and it's just you know go 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 do 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 and it's just it's crazy so here we go um patience my father i know i am impatient gosh yes i am so prone to worry to give up and to lose hope help me to rest in your promises today in this season of waiting renew my joy in this moment so that i do not miss your presence in this place Thank you for always working for my good and for your glory, even when I can't see. In Jesus' name, amen. Wanting what you want now, but waiting is probably the best. Don't think about what can happen in a month. Don't think about what can happen in a year. Just focus on the next 24 hours in front of you and do what you can to get closer to where you want to be. That is a big thing for me because I'm a huge worry wart. And like I've said before, I'm trying to get um, better at that. Just saying I trust you, I trust you, I trust you. But especially now that it's summer is here, it's, you know, we're like tomorrow we're leaving for Houston for a week. Hi, Mom. We can't wait to come see you. Um, so we'll be in Houston for the next week. And then, you know, we've got Schlitterbahn and, you know, we've got, you know, the Aquatica Passes. And so it's going to be pretty busy. And so um, I've got to really just kind of woosah, try to um, gather myself and not worry about, okay, what are we going to do tomorrow? What's going on this day? What's going on? You know, I've just got to really just focus on the 24 hours here and now and tomorrow we'll worry about. So the, um, the last thing I want to share with you, it's kind of, I found it of course on Pinterest, but it, it's kind of, um, little things that I want my kids to know about the tough days. And again, this all ties into going into the summer, um, being stressed out, having patience but this is kind of geared toward my kids. And it just doesn't have to be toward kids. It can be toward a family member or a friend or anybody. So here we go. You are not alone. Even if no one is around, God is there. He loves you and he will see you through. This won't last forever. These moments that seem so dark now will be a blimp on the radar screen of your life. Even the darkest hurts will heal. You are loved. God loves you, and we love you. Those are two things that will never change, no matter how dark the day is or how frustrating the situation is. We will always love you. Count your blessings in every situation. There is something you can be thankful for in everything. Figure out what it is and focus on that, even if it's just that the sun is shining today. That's always good news, right? Don't let it consume you, though your problem may seem huge. There are other things going to be in your world. Focus on something else for a bit. The solution to the situation may come when you least expect it. That's so true. Smile and laugh even when it's hard. There is nothing like laughter to lift your spirits and make your problems see like there's, they're not so big. Watch a funny movie, tell a funny joke, get, a smi get, the, get those smile muscles working. Sorry. Don't suffer alone. Ask for help when you need it. God didn't intend for us to bear our burdens alone. He wants to carry them, and he gave us friends and family to help carry them too. Pray, turn your problems over to God. He loves you, and he cares about you. No problem is too big for him to solve. Like I said, I wanted to share that with y'all today because it's it's geared, I guess, toward my my kids but it kind of goes for everybody you know my family my friends my husband like just everybody you know um we're here and we love you and you're not alone and so 
Um, that's all I have for you today. I try to make it quick and sweet and short. Um, I hope that y'all have a wonderful, wonderful week. And until next time, stay safe.